What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and this weekend is going to be a very exciting weekend for you guys if you're a fan of competitive Call of Duty, which I think a lot of you all are. So, if you guys don't know, this weekend is when the North American Regional Championship is taking place, and this is pretty much like the, the final stop for North American teams to be able to qualify for the big, you know, million dollar tournament that's coming up exactly three weeks from today. So, uh, up until this point, the rest of the world is pretty much solidified. Like, the, the Europeans just had their a couple of weeks ago, you know, all, all the other, you know, South America and all kinds of crazy countries uh, are already taken care of as well. And now it's just North America that's left. So there are 32 teams that are going to be competing for 14 spots in COD Champs this weekend. So it's uh, it's going to be pretty intense. And honestly, this like qualifying tournament sometimes can be even more intense than some of the COD Champs matches themselves. Like uh, last year, I think it was, Optic almost didn't qualify. Like they were close to not qualifying and not even going to the big million dollar tournament, which is uh, is pretty insane. So uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a pretty fun weekend. You know, they already started play right now as of the time you guys are watching this. And they're going to be playing all the way through Sunday night. It should be pretty good. It's a big like double elimination bracket. And and uh, it's best of five series, and it's kind of set up so that like pretty much most of the big name teams are almost guaranteed a spot in. Like they're, they're playing pretty low seeds. You guys can see the brackets here. So this is the top part of the bracket. You guys can see you've got Optic Gaming up there, and uh, and they're obviously the number one seed coming into this. They just won uh, the last event, and they've been looking really, really solid. So I uh, expect big things out of them. You also can see Team Caliber is in their kind of like little half the bracket as well. So we could see an Optic Gaming Team Caliber matchup, which would uh, be pretty insane. And then if you guys look in the second half of this bracket right here, you've actually got Team Envy up there as well. So uh, if Optic advances all the way through to Winner's Round 4 and Envy advances all the way through to Winner's Round 4, we could see an Optic Envy match, which is always a lot of fun, and, and I would absolutely love to see that. Now, if we switch over to the other side of the bracket, these are the other 16 teams that are playing this weekend. You guys can see, obviously, Denial is going to be a big team to uh, to be reckoned with. you got Phase Black in there, Phase Red in there, uh, Optic Nation's in there, Stunner Gaming. You know, there's, there's a lot of big-name teams. Obviously, the best teams in North America are going to be competing this weekend, which is pretty cool. And the way the, the seating worked out because they based off like your, your pro points you've earned uh, up until this point throughout the year so far. Uh, it's pretty much like the, the big name teams, you know, like, you know, the phase teams, Denial, Envy, Optic, those guys are all pretty much guaranteed a spot in because you pretty much only need one win to be able to secure your place in the tournament. But you never really know what's going to happen. There could be some sort of crazy upset and a, a team could be, you know, on the line and may not make it in. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But it, uh, it should just be a, a good tournament, and it should be kind of a, a cool precursor to what's to come uh, at the uh, the COD Champs at the end of the month. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. I think there's also some prize money on the line. So even if you've already qualified for the tournament, you still want to keep going for that prize money. I think first place takes on like four grand, then drops down to like 2500 for second. 1500 for third and 1000 for fourth, so it's it's really not that much when you compare it to the million dollars they're going to be playing for uh, at the end of the month, but it's going to be fun, and it's going to be kind of a, a cool warm-up to the, uh, the big champs that's coming up soon, so... Yeah, just want to let you guys know about that. Like I said, play is going down all weekend long, so if you guys are fans of competitive gaming, make sure you guys tune in. And if you haven't ever really given competitive gaming a shot, then uh, I encourage you guys to uh, check it out, because honestly, it's a lot of fun. It's where I started before I was on YouTube, and I'm very, very passionate about it. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have any predictions, who's going to come out on top? Who do you think is going to win? Leave a comment down below, and I'd be interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys later. Check out these two screens if you haven't seen yet. I've got another video coming out later today opening more advanced supply drops. Make sure you guys check back for that. And I will catch you guys later. Peace out.